All right, but the first time you come up, just have your lifter stick their arm straight out and then adjust it, all right? Now, taking the grip, let's talk about this. When you're taking your grip, your whole palm goes on the bar. Your whole palm goes on the bar. So, yes, press your palm in, open up all your fingers. And then this is a little bit harder to do here than it is on the bench press um, to get the bar in the right spot. It needs to sit at the base of your palm. It needs to sit over the bones of your wrist and your forearm. So I'm, I'm going to have you turn your thumb down with pressure into the bar, and you're going to feel the bar settle. You feel it? Mm -hmm. It kind of settles down into the groove of your palm down here. And once that position is established, you're going to squeeze your pinky onto the bar, right? Now to close the rest of the grip. Good. Other side too. And then you're going to pull your elbows under the bar, rotate the bar around the and stand up. Good. Now take a step back. All right. Now I want everybody to look at this grip. So the bar is sitting over these over the bones of the wrist and the palm. Okay. This is a neutral wrist. All right. This is a neutral wrist. This is not a neutral wrist. That's a straight wrist. Can you hold that like that? That's a straight wrist, but it's not a neutral wrist. All right, so if you make a fist, like you're going to punch somebody, that's a neutral wrist. So there's a little bit of extension in this, right? Everybody got it? All right. Uh, go ahead and rack it real quick. What I do not want to do is this. This is another thing that people love to do, is come up to the bar and then do that. All right, what, what have you done there? You love that. You have, yeah, you haven't done shit other than put the, the bar in the web of your thumb, and then when I close my hand, I can close my hand however I want. That's not the point, right? Is, my point is not to point the thumbs. Yeah, Brent loves this too. It's not to point your thumbs at the floor. The point here is to get the bar in the right position. All right. Now at the bottom position, the tip of the elbow is going to be slightly forward of the bar, okay? And this pr creates a, a, a vertical form, all right? To the lifter, it feels like the elbows are too far forward. That's going to give you a, a fairly vertical form, and that's what we look for. Okay, wherever the direction of the forearm is is pointed, or whatever uh, whatever line that forearm makes, is where the bar is going to go. Right, because if you start pushing it, this is the thing that's pushing, and if the elbow is too low, where's the bar going to go? You can see it, right? I mean, like point your finger with the bar. With the bar in your hand, just stick your finger up. Like, just stick it straight up. See that? Now point, keep your finger up and point your elbows forward. Is that where we want the bar to go? Yes, we want it go, to go back towards the shoulder joint. And if the elbow drops even a little bit, see the bar's going in the wrong direction. Everybody see how that works? So wherever this thing is pointing, that's where the bar's going. So it helps this guy to think about it that way. If the elbow's forward, the tip of the elbow's forward, the bar's going to go back to where it needs to go. Everybody clear on that? Okay. So it's a slightly uncomfortable position. All right. And that's okay. If he feels comfortable at all here, just like in the deadlift, if he's comfortable, it's wrong. If he feels comfortable here, more than likely, it looks like that. All right. And most people need to be cued every single time to get the elbows forward. All right. So elbows and he, he will do that.